In this tutorial, I'll show you how to set up Hey Siri on your older Apple laptops and desktop computers. If you're an iPhone user, and especially if you have an Apple Watch, you're probably used to saying, hey Siri, and just by saying that, it activates your Siri personal assistant. So what if you want to do that on a Mac, on a laptop or desktop computer? Here I am on Apple's website that talks about Siri, and if I click on Mac, it goes over a few ways that you can use Siri on your Mac. It talks about on a touch bar, if you have a touch bar laptop, that you can press this button to make it work. There's also some keyboard shortcuts that you can use to make it work. And on a Mac 2018 or later, you can just say, hey Siri, and it should just work. Well, what if that's not the case? What if your Mac is a little bit older and this just doesn't work for you? Well, there is still a way to make Siri respond just by using your voice and saying, hey Siri. So let's look at how to make that work. I'm gonna minimize the screen. And step one is to go to the Apple menu here in the upper left, click on the system preferences, and go to the Siri settings. Here you'll want to make sure that you have enabled Ask Siri. If you haven't, you need to do so. So you would check this box, it gives you a warning, and then you just click Enable. I like to also show Siri in the menu bar, that way it shows up here, and I can just click there to activate Siri. But for now, the key thing to do is to go to the keyboard shortcuts, and click, and instead of having it be hold command space, you want to customize your own keyboard shortcut for Siri. For me, I'm gonna hold option and tap the S key. So option S will activate Siri for me. Now I'll just go back to the system preferences window and click on the keyboard icon. Here are the keyboard settings and one of those settings is dictation. So I click there. You wanna make sure that dictation is turned on. If it's not turned on, when you do turn it on, it might ask you to download some files. And just go ahead and do that. It'll download and install some files that you need to be able to make this work. Also, make sure that Enhanced Dictation is selected. If you don't, again, it's not going to work. Now, one thing to watch for, you need to make sure that the correct microphone is selected, whether it's the built-in internal microphone or an external microphone just make sure that the correct one is selected. All right, I think we're done in this window. So now I'll go up here and click on these dots. That takes me back to the system preferences. And now I'll go into the accessibility options. Here in accessibility, you just go down and look for dictation here at the left. And the key here is you need to enable the dictation keyword phrase. So I check that box, and here it says computer, but I want to highlight that and change it to hey. Next, I'll click the dictation commands button, and I'll enable advanced commands. There's a bunch of default commands here, but I want to enable advanced commands. Now I can click this plus sign to create a new advanced command, and I'll set that up here using this form. So when I say Siri, while using any application, if you want, you can choose some subset of that, but I'm gonna leave it at any application. Then perform what? Well, I would like to press a keyboard shortcut. And which one? I would like it to press the option S keyboard shortcut. Remember, that's what I set up to be the Siri keyboard shortcut. So I click done and I can exit out and let's give it a try. Hey Siri. What's the weather today? Here's the forecast for today. Hey Siri, open apple.com. Hey Siri, what's on my calendar? You have six upcoming appointments. So now, hey Siri, seems to be working great on my computer. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope that you found it to be helpful. If you did, please click the like button below and consider connecting with me on my social media websites like Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter. And definitely do subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos about technology for teachers and students. And when you do subscribe, please click the bell next to the subscribe button. That way you'll be notified whenever I post another video. And I post a video at least every Monday. If you'd like to support my YouTube channel, please consider becoming a patron of mine through my Patreon account, and you'll find links to that in the description below.